My name is Rob Shields. I'm the collection manager at the Rock Shops Rail Museum in Ipswich. I've got um, about 30 or 40,000 individual objects. We've got objects that cover all aspects of railway business, right down to teaspoons, to diesel locomotives and everything in between. Back in 2019, we started talking to Queensland Rail and the Railway Workshops Museum about transferring the Queensland Rail Heritage Collection to QSA. The railway is such a vast topic. It's an incredibly wonderful topic to have for a museum because it, it sort of touches every single part of the state and every single person. So the railways opens up Queensland uh, for industry, for development. It takes people home, it takes people to work. So it's not just locomotives and carriages, it's also travel, it's also, you know, you know uniforms. It's there's thousands and thousands of objects that tell railway stories. The development of the railways in Queensland was really significant in opening up Queensland. So it's important for us to capture the documentation of that process. Since this place was opened in 2002, we've had the Queensland Rail Archive, their historical archive. So when the idea of the museum was going to be created in the late 90s, Queensland Rail was heavily involved with that and they wanted their historical archive nice and close to them here at the workshops. So the idea between the Queensland State Archives, Queensland Museum and Queensland Rail is that we'll all be better off if that historical archive gets transferred to the State Archives. So glass plate negatives, they're incredibly delicate uh, negatives, photographic negatives on glass. The benefit of them is that they're incredibly sharp, detailed images of, of a huge variety of subjects across um, railway development in Queensland and they were really exciting for us to get to QSA because we were able to do a lot of preservation work on them, clean them all off and get them digitised so that they can be accessible. Received thousands mm. of wagon and carriage history cards including uh, locomotives, so steam and diesel locomotive cards. They include information about the maintenance and ongoing um, repairs and history of every single uh, locomotive, every wagon, every carriage uh, that was part of the Queensland Rail Fleet over the years. So they're a really rich resource for researchers. So, so far we've managed the transfer of around 11,000 items, but the project is still ongoing. The State Archives has set out the best of all three of us to, to care for it. Uh, to catalogue it and to provide access uh, to the public to access that material. This is such a rich and expansive collection. It's wonderful that it's coming to QSA so that we can care for it and make it available to everyone.